Hey Virgos, this is your girl Tarot Card Bay. I'm here for your reading. This is your general reading for the month of March. We're going to look at your overall energy. We're going to look at finances and love at the end. So let's jump in for my Virgos overall energy for my Virgos for the month of March. What do we have? We have the strength card. Strength card. I will say when I was shuffling and I got eight of cups in reverse, I also started to feel like there was like an energy of a, a jerk, somebody arrogant in your life that you walked away from. Um, you could be feeling that energy. You could be thinking about a past person. I don't want to focus too much in the past. If the past comes up, it comes up. But I feel that you could be dreaming about this person. You could have like ruminating thoughts about a past person that hurt you or was arrogant or treated you like in a way that you did not deserve. They didn't treat you uh, per your value. And I feel that a lot of you are using the strength to either walk away from that, pull yourself out of that energy or stop the overthinking about the past let's clarify this strength card for your overall energy yeah look at that the tower what did i say tower energy is here and what else we have the eight of swords for overthinking what did i say what did i say a person a energy even if this person is yourself, even if you are the person who was keeping your own self stuck in a mental trap, in a mental prison. This is something that you're purging out of. Some of y'all could have been stuck in a cycle like this for a while, but I do see that you are using to, the strength to pull yourself out of it. You're purging out of this tower. It is difficult. For the for us Virgos, we are analyzers. A lot of times, Virgo, you're analyzing to to attempt to fix something. It's almost like if you overthink the situation or if you replay the situation in your head, you can see where you needed to make a change or maybe you should have took a different action to have a better outcome. You have to understand that this was the past. You can't fix this. No matter what outcome what action, how you communicated, how you expressed your love, how you didn't express your love, the outcome would be the same, okay? And you have to like release your desire to fix the past. It has happened, it happened for a reason. I do see some of you are like coming to the realization of the past situation happening for a reason. It was meant to strengthen you with this strength card. It was meant to reflect your own worth and value to yourself. It was meant for you to sacrifice a connection or sacrifice a friendship or a job for what's in your best interest. But at the end of the day, you can't fix this. You can't go back to the future or back to the past. You can't go to the, you can't go to the past and fix this. And even if you were perfect in the past, you can't control other people. And for us Virgos, that's sometimes hard for us to do. We think if we would have communicated differently, if we would have held back, if we would have gave more, gave less, that the outcome would have been different. But I promise in this particular situation, the outcome is the same. Let's clarify. I see judgment wanted to come out. Let's clarify this tower energy for my Virgos. Two of cups and the seven of cups. Yeah, there was mutual, mutual love, mutual love. It was there. Yes, except that, <laughs> you know, y'all loved each other. You liked each other. You wanted each other. You were attracted to each other, but somebody couldn't let go of the seven of cups. Someone couldn't have, couldn't have let go or couldn't have let go of this illusion of the grass being greener or something being better or somebody being shinier. One of you could never let go of that. So the lesson had to be taught that this person lost you and you had to, let me just pull, let me just pull the, 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 um, the judgment card out. Let me just pull that out. And the four of wands and the three of cups. Even if you revisited this and you married this person, the three of cups would always stand. This person I wanted to say as a hoe, God, I'm sorry. It's Sunday. This person thrives in the three of cups. This person is the three of cups. This person 
all they know is the three of cups. So even if you dreamed of the four of wands, even if you took the steps towards the four of wands, this person is in the energy of the three of cups until they have their spiritual awakening. So you being your beautiful, wonderful, giving, sacrificing self, your presence wasn't going to teach this person to do something different. This person had to learn through your absence as well as you have to learn through your own absence or your absence of this person or your detachment of the connection. This person wouldn't have grown and learned if you continue to give your love, affection, and time. All right. Five, look at this. Five of wands energy. What else? The star and the knight of swords. So whoever this is, is going through a spiritual awakening. You could have been dealing with Aquarius. We got a lot of signs here. Scorpio energy, fire sign energy, Leo energy here. This person is going through a spiritual awakening now that you're not connected. This person could not be connected to you and you couldn't do what you needed to do by being connected to them. This has happened for a reason. Accept it so you can move on, so you can get out of the Eight of Swords energy. I do see that a lot of you are already here. You're already in the acceptance phase. This is the grieving process. When you lose something or someone that you really love, like you go through the sadness, you go through the anger. And at some point you'll go through an indifference, right? So these are the, the cycles of grief as you're processing out of this connection. And for those of you who are concerned that, wow, it's taking you a lot longer than you realize to get out of this connection, or like maybe you went six months or a year and multiple years and this person isn't around and you're still ruminating, it's going to take as long as it needs to take until you've accepted it. Accepted that it's over, the past cycles are over, that it had to be over, and this is for your best interests. All right. Anything else? Let's see. Yeah, it's meant for you to focus on your coins right now. It's meant to you. It's meant for you. And I say that because I got the eight of sword, eight of pinnacles. I don't know why I get all the cards. Eight of pinnacles and the magician. I know my cards. I'm sorry. Um, this is time for you to focus on making your dreams come true, not focusing on making other people's dreams come true. Being other people's cheerleaders. You know, making sure every other people love themselves and have high self-esteem and see themselves in the best regard. Damn that. Damn all of that. <laughs> this is the time for you. This is the time for you to manifest. And either they're going to get with the program or get lost. All right. I like that overall energy. I like that. You're channeling more fire energy. And this healthy selfishness that you're channeling is not unlike you. It is you. You know, at the center of Earth is fire, right? It's passion. It's a creative energy. You're not, you haven't been put on this world just to sacrifice and take care of others. You like to do it. It's beautiful. It makes you feel great. But that's not your only job. Your job is to be the hermit. Your job is to go through these cycles, learn what you need to learn, come out abundant and show other people who are going through these same obstacles that freedom is possible. Love is possible after heartbreak. Joy is possible after disappointment. That's your job. All right. I like that for you. Now we're going to go into finances and we're going to start with your whoop, success Oracle. And then we'll use um, tarot Virgo's finances month of March. What do we have for my Virgos? Hopefully we get something creative, intuitive. This deck is cool because it actually shows prominent figures in business in a way for you to kind of tie your energy to a successful mogul and a message. What do we have? Cher Wang. 
Compete in the market, not the spotlight. Enough about me. Tomorrow's breakthrough starts day to day. So we got Cher Wang. Let me see if I can get another message from here. So I get that energy of like, don't get stuck on self. Don't be like swayed from your mission and your purpose by being overly self-conscious, overly focused on things being perfect. You know, we get um, analysis paralysis. Focus on the market at hand. Focus on your goals. Focus on your change. Focus on your dreams. Um, don't be so stuck in things being perfect that it delays you. Let's see what we got. Through controversies, including donations to contention causes, have brought pro public scrutiny. Her more agreeable charitable work includes funding educations for students from low income households. It's almost like the energy of you being the messenger, you giving the message, you being strong, but people being focused on it coming from the wrong messenger or people being focused on the ways that you were not successful in the past, Over, overly being focused on you yourself instead of the progress and the growth that you're trying to achieve. I like that. I do get the energy of do not be a perfectionist, do not be overly critical, um, focus on the product, focus on what you're trying to create, focus on the purpose behind the creation. And don't focus too much on yourself and how you're perceived and how people see you and what people think. The things you create are a reflection of your spirit, your soul, and what you're meant to do on this earth. All right, let's go into the tarot about your finances. Virgo's finances for the month of March. One card. We got the five of... Swords, five of swords. There's competition for some of you. So if you work in a workplace, even if you have your own business, there is a competitive nature. You will be triggered. And, and I feel like that ties into the whole don't don't overly focus on yourself. Don't take things personally. Don't be overly sensitive. Don't let people attack your person. Focus on what you're producing, not focusing on like who you are. It's about what you're producing. You will have people in your energy attempting to undermine you, outshine you, do better than you. That just shows that you're growing. That just shows that you have upward mobility coming because your haters are coming for you. More about that. Page of swords in reverse. Yeah, and somebody's watching you. So if you work with others, people are watching you. I feel like some people are trying to steal your style or trying to figure out how you got where you are. Especially for my fine ass Virgos, and most of us are fine. Some of you might feel like you're minimized by what you look like. If you care about, you know, how you look, your styling, your clothes. Maybe some people don't take you seriously because of that, but that's just a version of somebody being a hater. Always remain yourself and just produce great products. That's what I keep getting. Doesn't matter what you look like. If the product is amazing, if what you're producing is amazing, then nobody can talk about that. Do good work and nobody can, nobody can second guess that. I got the seven of buttons in reverse. Yeah, some of you just have, I get the energies of haters, people who feel like they've put work in either more, you know, they could feel like they put in more work than you and they, you're, you're getting rewards that they feel like they deserve. And this is a person who, again, they're focused on the wrong thing. They're focused on you when they should be focused on themselves. But this is a person who's going to try to challenge you and undermine you. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Overextend it. Yeah. Do not overextend yourself. Do not make yourself exhausted. You need to do good work right now. And the only way you can do that is by 
resting, taking care of your mental health, taking care of your physical health, eating good foods, relaxing as well. So if these haters are watching you, the answer is not to do more to prove yourself. You have no reason to prove yourself. You're you. You're Virgo. Nobody's going to do anything better than you. The answer is just to remain balanced, not be triggered and tell them nicely to kiss your ass. That's what I'm getting. Nicely, of course. And I got the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. This person is just somebody who's jealous. It seems like this is more workplace and finances, but it kind of ties in together. This is a person who's jealous. This outside energy, these could be multiple people. This could be people who watch you online. Like these outside energies look at you as you having everything. And all of these things came to you very easily in comparison. They feel that they put in a lot of work and they're not getting their reward. So they want to hate on you. They don't know your struggle. They can't match your hustle, you know, nine of swords. It's almost like a projection. These people are really sad and unhappy. So instead of focusing on being better or healing what's wrong with them or their insecurities, they're projecting things onto you. And again, I said, when it comes to your finance and when it comes to work, they don't know your struggle. They can't match your hustle. They don't know. The times that you were heartbroken, but you were working your tail off. They don't know the times you were sick, but you were giving all that you could give. They don't know how long or how far you had to work to get to where you are right now or how you're working hard to get to where you want to go. This is just a hater, hater energy and people trying to take money or food out of your mouth because of their own insecurities. So my answer to this or my my advice to this is one, be mindful. If you feel the energy that somebody's trying to play you, talk down to you, second, you know, undermine you, then it, it's, it's valid. You know, don't invalidate yourself. Don't put that, that weight on you. Realize that you feel what you feel and you're valid. And just make sure you're having boundaries with this energy. Whatever this energy is that wants to take money from you or take a status or job from you. Anything else about finances? Spirit be coming through. Spirit came through and I got the empress. You are the empress. And, the, and to become the empress or the emperor, you have to go through every challenge. You go through the physical challenge of like what's in the material world. You go through the mental challenges which is the sword energy. You go through the cup challenges, which is the emotional, the heartbreaks, the disappointments. You go through all of these things to become the empress. So don't you ever allow someone to make you feel like they can undermine you or you don't deserve the status of where you are. They have no clue what you went through. They don't know your struggle. They can't match your hustle and they're mad. That's why you mad. That's why you mad. OK, <laughs> that's why they're mad. You are the empress and you deserve to be exactly where you are or where you're working to be. I got the 10 of matches. Some of you feel burdened for this. It's like your heart is so pure. You feel bad that someone would even feel this way. That's not that don't have nothing to do with you. Don't take that on. Don't take that on. And I got the two of cups. Even lovers in your past have felt jealous of you. You've had a lot of jealousy. Some of you from even childhood, you might not even feel that you had a lot for people to be jealous of, but it's your perseverance. It's your spirit. It's the intangible things about you that make people hate you. And you can't control that. No matter how loving you are, no matter how helpful, no matter how understanding you try to be, it's not your job to make those people feel comfortable with your success. Now we're going to move on to love. Love for my Virgos. I'm going to start with the soulmate oracle deck manifesting. What is this? Manifest soulmate oracle cards. This is one of my first oracle decks that I've ever purchased. So I'm not a huge oracle deck person, but I do like this deck. What do we have for love for my Virgos for March? What do we have? I have found the one that my soul loves. You will find this. This wanted to come out in reverse because some of you have been struggling. 
Some of you want it now. <laughs> Some of you feel like you've waited a long time and you want it now, but it is coming. There are things you had to clear out of your life. You needed to love yourself a bit more to be like in the energy of attracting the person who's meant for you. This love is coming. So if you have any doubt, the more you love yourself, the more you make good choices for you, the quicker this love will come in. Anything else from the Oracle deck? Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. What did I say? Pour into you. That's what you're doing in the downtime and that's what you should be doing. All the ways you want a lover to love you, you should be loving yourself and taking care of yourself, taking care of your diet, taking care of your brain, you know, like making sure you're, 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 you're styled well. You know how we do. We, we're going to be real. We want to look good, smell good, eat good, spend good. You know, you sh make sure you're checking all those boxes without a lover because that's going to attract people to you. Most of the time, you don't got to tell Virgos that because we're amazing, but I'm just saying. Everything you need, your courage, your strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. There's nothing that a lover can bring to you that you don't already have other than partnership and companionship. So if you feel your heart crying out for a lover to love you, it's because there's a part of you that still needs to accept and love yourself a bit more. That's that inner child crying out to be acknowledged. That's your inner child crying out to be loved completely for the, the flaws and the, the beautiful things about you. And I know that's one of the hardest things for us Virgos to do is love our flaws. We are fault finders and fault fixers, but the challenge is loving every part of you. Because that is how you want a person to come into your life and love you. You don't want someone to piecemeal what they love about you. Like, I love your lips, but I don't love your nose. I love your butt, but I don't love your toes. No, we need somebody who's going to love all of that and swallow you all the way up. Like, that's what we are going towards. That's what you deserve because that's how you love. Some of y'all have loved some people who weren't even your physical type at first. And then you fell in love and you gave all that you could. And that is how you deserve to be loved. Flaws and all. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the tarot. Who's coming in? The lover that's coming in for my Virgos. Look at that. Two of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So we do have love coming. It's been a long time coming for some of you. For me too. Real love. You know, we have a King of Pentacles coming for you. Somebody who has their stuff together, the king of their material world. This is husband energy. The king is typically with the queen of pentacles because they understand the stability that a partner brings. They understand the abundance that a feminine energy, one feminine energy brings to their life. They understand that multiple feminine energies are chaotic. They understand that they can't get to the next level of their abundance without their counterpart this person is coming your way all right anything else about the new love five of wands in reverse you will not have to fight for this you will not be in competition there will be no triangulation there will be no pious lovers this is going to be someone you have a clean slate with somebody that you can love without fear right because that's what we want to do we want to love without fear we want to fall into love without fear. Yeah, three of wands energy. I feel like you, this is the energy of someone when you meet this person is going to be like y'all been waiting for each other. Waiting for your ships to come in. As much as you feel like you've done good work, you've healed yourself, you've worked on your body, you've healed past traumas, and now you're waiting for your lover to come in, this person will feel the exact same way. And we got the chariot could be done with the cancer. This is somebody who's going to come for you. I feel a lot of you Virgos have always reached back to the past to try to fix the past, express your emotions, you know, prove to that person you really loved them. No matter the obstacle, you will not have to do this with this person. This person will see your value and come for you. You won't have to sit around and wonder why this person isn't taking action towards you. This is a person who will see your value and come directly forward. And what do I have? 
the ace of pentacles that this person will bring and the king of wands. So as practical and methodical as this person is with this king of pentacles energy, they also will be able to take action towards their passion. And some of you have never had that before. Some of you have had people who really loved you, but they wouldn't take that action to make things right or to merge your lives together or to commit or to express their emotions. You will not have to worry about that with this new lover. This new lover is the king of passion and the king of the material world. And we got the four of four of wands. <laughs> I keep laughing because I want to call these cards the wrong cards. And the six of pentacles. This is a person who will want commitment. This is a person who will be generous. This is a person who will want to share their life with you. I don't get past energy, which I love to see new energy. What's the most likely outcome between Virgo and this lover? Look at that. Four of cups in reverse. Not being rejected. Page of wands. Positive communication and a new start. And the empress, that's your second empress, someone who can make you feel like this, secure, someone who you will want to populate this world with, have babies with, have a family with. You can only be like this. You can be the empress by yourself, but when it comes to a connection with somebody else, you can only be like this with the emperor because you need security to be the empress and only someone who's in a king emperor energy who can give you that a f boy f girl can give you this you can't sit home sit pretty and sit comfortable when you can't trust somebody so this person will allow you to sit in your feminine or masculine energy however you resonate and be your best self and be abundant and grow the life that you dream of that's what I got for you. I like this. I'm glad I waited a little bit. Um, you know, I tried the other day to do readings. I hated them and I stopped it mid reading, <laughs> but I really like this for you, Virgo. Uh, this flowed really well. Hit the thumbs up, comment below, talk to me nicely. Let me know you like this. Let me know you want more. Your next readings are going to be new love and life after the player. So I hope you enjoyed this. I love you all. Thank you for supporting my channel. See you soon. Bye.